Hey guys, this is Rick at Tasty Guitar. Today I'm going to be showing you six stone cold funky licks from the great Johnny Guitar Watson. I put these all in the key of C for ease of learning and you can also come by tastyguitar.com and download the tab and backing track for this lesson absolutely free. Let's get started. All right, this first lick will sound great over a minor chord groove in C. I'm starting here up at the 13th fret, bending that up full from the end of one. So one, right there, bending that up full. One, and then releasing that, one. Coming back down here to the E flat, and just kind of outlining a C minor triad there. One. They're going to slide up to the root, the C. So, so far we have one. And you can use different fingering uh, than I'm using. It's just, uh, you know, whatever's comfortable for you. One. I'm going to go down to the flat seventh. And just descend in a C blue scale. One. Back to the F note, back to the C, E flat, ending on the root. So all together we have this, one. Again, one. A little bit quicker, one. One. Like all of today's licks, this one is in C again. This one will work better over a dominant chord groove. I am starting here by sliding up to the root, the C note, at the 13th fret on beat number three. So this is like one, two, three. I'm going to slide up there and then cut it off really quick. One, two, three. They're going to go back down here to the uh, kind of box position of the pentatonic scale. And on beat four, I'm going to just do this little move here, bend the 10th fret. Return to the F, E flat, and the C. Typical kind of pentatonic lick there. So I got one, two, three. Then on the end of the one of the following measure, I'm kind of doing a really quick little slide up to the ninth fret, the major third. And also cutting that off really quickly. So one, two, three. You could also just do that a little, little uh, half step bend if you want. One, two, three. Going back down to the root. And then the flat seven twice. So what we have all together is this. One, two, three. Four, one, two. All right, this next one we're starting right here at the 11th fret on the B flat note, bending that up full. Then gonna grab the E flat note, the flat third, and really cut that off quickly. That's how you get a real funky phrasing like that. So cut that off real quick. They're gonna bend that uh, B flat note up again full. So this is like one and two. Go to go down to the 10th fret now and bend up the F note there. 
release it, and then go down to the E flat. So all together, so far we have back to the F note, slide up from the flat third to the major third, quick slide there, to the root, ending on the flat seventh, back to the root. So all together we have this. Pay attention to the staccato notes in the tab there, so real staccato there. Staccato right there again too. A little quicker. Alright, this lick on the recording was leading to an F chord, that's why it's ending on that F note at the end of it, but when you're just playing over a kind of a minor chord groove, that might not be the, uh, the best note to end on, you could change that up a little bit. But we're starting here on the flat 7th on the AND of 1. So this is like 1, 1, flat 7 to the 5th. Now I'm keeping strict alternate picking during this to keep my kind of 16th note flow going on. Um, so this would be like one and uh, starting on a, starting on a downstroke one and uh, continuing down in uh, the C blues scale one one then going to the F note kind of playing that one real staccato one one. Again, just kind of descending in C pentatonic or C blues. One. Ending on the F note. But like I said, you could probably change that up to end on a different note, something that was maybe in the C minor chord. One. Or even bend it. One. Something like that. One. Keeping my alternate picking going. One. To do that, just make sure you keep that arm in motion uh, even when you're missing notes. So this one, another example, which is a pretty basic pentatonic leap, but it's just the phrasing and the feel of it which really makes it funky. We're starting here on beat number two, so this is one, just bending that uh, F note up, either half or full, I think I put half on the tab, one, but you could go full, one, up to you, one, then going to return to the F, F, G, a E flat. One. One. Go down to the flat seven. Back to the root. And then ending on the 16th notes on the flat seven. So all together we have this. One. Alright, this next one we're starting here at the root, the C note at the 13th fret on beat number three. So one, two. Gonna cut that G note off pretty quickly. 
One, two. That's what gives this stuff the feel. That staccato kind of uh, sound there. One, two. I'm gonna go down to the F note, bend that up, full. One, two. Back to the F and then the E flat. Down to the root. And then real quick, 16th notes here on the flat third, the E flat note. So all together we have this one, two, four, one, two. Again, real staccato on those last two notes. A little bit quicker. One, two. One, two. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by today and checking out these six licks from one of the best of all time, Johnny Guitar Watson. In the funk kind of phrasing and feel, he's just like kind of unparalleled. Anyways, if you did enjoy today's lessons, please come by Taste the Guitar. Download the tab for this lesson absolutely free. You can also download the backing track in the subscribers area if you subscribe at tastedguitar.com. I also have a lot of other free lessons for you, and I do offer private instruction via Skype. This has been Rick. Thank you.